Hey everybody, welcome back to another brand new video. Today we're doing a retail review of Allen and & Ginter. And to make it a little more interesting, we're going to pair it up with a hobby box of 2022 Allen & Ginter also. Basically, we're just trying to see what's better. Because all in all, these are about the same cost. Five blasters as opposed to one hobby box. Uh, five of these are 125 before tax. And these boxes here are about 125 at the hobby stores. I've seen them as low as 100 in some spots online. But I think this is a pretty fair fight. Let's go ahead and see what we can find in these blaster boxes. They just hit the shelves this past Friday. And this uh, video is sponsored by Heather B, who will get all of the cards in this video. If you'd like to sponsor a video like this one, check us out on Patreon. We sell all of our breaks there. And uh, we are filling a break, break right now at this moment for tonight. Random team break, team break Tuesday. Also, would like to remind you, we're doing a giveaway for Christmas. I'm, I'm putting something in every day. Put Yesterday, I put in this Harmon Killebrew cut auto. I put in a Mike Trout $500 box topper autograph. And today, I'm putting in a Barry Bonds rookie card in a PSA 9. So, I will continue to put something in every single day. If you'd like to donate something to the Christmas stock, you can do so. Um, send it to me at P.O. Box 402, Pleasant Unity, PA, 15676. I usually have a little postcard to show you that, but I seem to have misplaced it. <laughs> Here it is. This is this is Mystery Box Monday, but just put attention, Christmas donation. If you would like to donate something, we'll open all that stuff up on Christmas, Christmas night and uh, give it all away to different people that are subscribed. All you have to do is be subscribed on the channel. So let's go ahead and get into this. I was waiting and waiting and waiting for this. Not, not for the actual release of the boxes, but I was there. I happened to be at Walmart and I stumbled across the card section as the lady from MJ Holdings was there stocking the shelves. She had two push carts and probably like four or five large boxes, large white boxes filled with cards and uh, man she's taking her good old time but that's probably because uh folks are kind of inconsiderate when they're looking for cards they root around and they don't put stuff back so i think it might be uh i might have to do a little bit better job whenever i get a look at cards i kind of i kind of straighten up a little bit i might have to help a little more and straighten them up a little more so that she doesn't have to take forever just in case i'm there on a stock day but anyway here's the thing with alan and ginter with the hobby box you will get three hits with the blasters, we don't know what we're going to get in here. Here's all the odds. We'll show you those. You can read through those after you pause the video, and there's no purchase necessary. So we need to find three hits from these blaster boxes to have a shot of tying things up here. I think that the hobby box... Oh, what is this? Look at this. In the very first box, we have a Burt Blylevin. Hall of Famer Burt Blylevin Relic. That is not a bad start. Very nice right there. So Heather, can grab, I guess we'll leave that on the screen. And we'll put that right there. So the blaster box is up one to nothing. It's going to be, I mean, we already know that we're gonna, going to get three from the hobby boxes. And Alan Ginter has been very, very good to me so far. I've only opened five hobby boxes in our last Team Break Tuesday. And... They were loaded. We had a $2,500 stained glass mini of Julio Rodriguez, J-Rod come out of there. We had a one-of-one one Ken Griffey Jr. come out of there as well. And I am looking forward to it tonight. The Allen & Ginter break did sell out on Patreon, so I just added a second round. So we'll be doing two rounds of Allen & Ginter also in, our, in the team breaks tonight. We'll have Cosmic Chrome back again. We'll have Bowman Chrome hobbies. A couple cases of that, a couple rounds of that. Um, some some tops chrome from last year, some tops chrome updates, some chronicles, some tops base, a whole bunch of stuff. I hope you can sit in with us for a little while. It'll probably be at least, I would imagine, a two hour break, if not three. And now we're into our second blaster box. These were twenty five dollars per box. I miss the days of the twenty dollar box. I, I wish that they would just keep some select products. I think Alan and Ginter would be one that would be nicely priced twenty dollar blaster box. I would say keep Tops flagship 20 bucks, keep Allen and Ginter 20 bucks, Heritage 20 bucks. And then of course, if you want to go a little higher on Chrome, that I would be okay with that. I'm not I'm not okay with a $35 price tag that's currently on Chrome. 
but I wouldn't mind seeing it maybe 25. We'll see what happens. It'll be interesting to see with just cards sitting on the shelves and not moving if they're going to make a move to lower the prices of um, some of these products. All right, so we're into this next one. So far for Heather, this box looks like it might just be a boring no hit box you got the weirdo cards i'm not going to spend too much time going through these because i already did a new release preview where we kind of went through everything in detail and this box here was very disappointing despite being a 25 dollars box we may have pulled two dollars and fifty cents in value big loss on that one that's the way the uh that's the way these go though that's why whenever people ask for my recommendations i say if i were you i would probably buy a hobby box yes it's more but you do get the uh, the guaranteed hits in there, which we will see here in just a moment. We've got three more boxes of these to do. And then, who knows, maybe we'll find a booklet. We already found a booklet. We found a booklet last uh, last Tuesday as well. I've got five honey boxes. A little one of one of stained glass J-Rod. And also a booklet of two Hall of Famers. It was Ryan Sandberg and Andre Dawson. So some really nice stuff from Alan Ginter this year i hope it continues all right let's go into this next pack tomorrow it's gonna be i'm excited about tomorrow's video folks i've got a new product that i found on amazon it's uh it could potentially be terrible or it could be great we'll see there's what's up with the collation here of this pack there's cards that are flipped every other which way really weird like upside down backwards and forwards Maybe the machine just went a little haywire. Like there's that Gary Sanchez. I'm guessing it's going to be the last card in every pack. It's going to be flipped upside down. So you'll probably see that. Oh, what is it? Six times on that. And there's J.P. Crawford, which is upside down. We'll flip it back over. The minis, not a big fan of the minis, but some folks, there's a, our first big rookie so far, Bobby Witt Jr., have not found the J-Rod yet. Some people really like the minis. Got to check the backs and make sure there's no numbered minis and we've got a drew ellis right there and brandon crawford so the last two boxes not all that great we've got two left glad we got a burt bly 11 in there wonder what the chances are of finding a relic um let's see here it's always like a word search here for me which i'm not really a big fan of the relics can't find them now I really want to know. Autograph parallels, one in 22,000 for a black frame. The relic booklet, one in 30,000. That would be a nice find. Framed mini relic, one, wow, one in 181. Relic version B, one in 69. Relic version A, one in 69. So, I mean, with 48 total cards, um, grand total is uh, eight packs per box. You may have to buy... I don't know. It's not uh, 69 divided by 8 to give you your chances of finding a relic because there's multiple different variations of the relic. They said relic A, relic B. There's other types of relics. You might have to buy five boxes just to find one relic. That Burt Blylevin may be the only one that we find in this whole video. I'll be interested to see if Alan Ginter just sits on the shelf like Chrome has been. Now, however, Chrome's going to probably start to pick up. I have noticed that you cannot find Update anywhere in my area. Everything else is sitting there, but people are gobbling up Update Blasters especially. I ran out of the Update Blasters for my Patreon packs this month. I figured, oh, I'll just, I'll just hit up Walmart. I only need like, uh, like a dozen or so. I'll be able to just find those throughout the next week or so. Nope. So... <laughs> There just was none anywhere at any Walmart. So I had to order an extra case of those, and those just came in today. So if you recently signed up for Patreon on the $51 tier, $99 tier, I will get your stuff out to you tomorrow. My cases just came in today. A lot of these places, like uh, Blowout Cards, etc., they're having some big processing delays with the huge influx of orders that just poured in for Black Friday, Cyber Monday, and I think Blowout Cards has been doing it for... I think pretty much all month of November, it seems. Just um, selling stuff for like 10, 20, 30% off. All right, this next box, a little unfortunate, nothing in there either. So we move into our last blaster box of Allen and Ginter. The hobby box could save it. 
We'll see if this box here can save it. So yeah, I'm looking forward to doing tomorrow's video on these packs. So they, they have a graded card in them. Each pack will have one graded card in it along with some additional packs. They, it's a really cool idea. I mean, they look very professionally made. The big question is, are they going to stink or not? I, I'm interested to open that. I'll put those for sale on Patreon. I, just grab, I grabbed 10 of them, so I figure if we do 10, that would be good because what if I only did one and they sent like something that had like a really nice, top-notch, graded PSA rookie worth more than the buy -in. So I, it's always good to get a good sample size to see. All right, here's the other blaster box. There's Torkelson. This is our fifth. Hey, we got Jeremy Payne. We'll put that with the Bobby Witt. And uh, the minis, I got to flip those over. I've been trying to flip them over as we go along to see if any, if any are numbered on the back. There's Bill Mazeroski. Stephen Kwan's a nice one. We've got a Nolan Arenado mini. And there's a mini of a web gem, literally a picture of a gem. And Shane Boz. It looks like, folks, that I can very just uh, resoundingly tell you that the blaster boxes of Allen and Ginter pretty much suck. I would not buy them if I were you. Here's why. You got, we got one. So that was $125 before tax on all those blasters. Um, after tax, $6 on $100. We're looking at $131 plus some. We're probably looking at $133, $134. So let's just call it $134. We got a bunch of base cards, these two, and Burt Blylevin. I mean, the Blylevin's nice. It's a Hall of Fame relic. But we probably got, I don't know, $15 worth of cards there. Not very good. So just from this sample size, I mean, heck, maybe you're buying blasters and pulling dinosaur bones and stuff out of there. But from what I've seen right now from those five, not impressed. Now, I have been impressed with these boxes. If I were you... I would pick up one of these. And like I said, you can find these on some websites for as low as 100 bucks, which is pretty crazy. So we'll rip through these and we'll prove it to you that the hobby boxes are better. We'll go ahead and take out all the packs. There's 24 packs here. Heather's going to get all of these as well. And there will be a grand total of three hits. That's going to be a combination of relics, autographs, Rip cards, books, printing plates. Typically, I would say most of the time, it's probably going to be relics. You're probably going to at least get two relics in your box, which is fine. I saw a video the other day. Somebody did a little bit of math and found out they can make from one bat, from one bat, they can make over 7,000 game-used relics. So you're going to find a lot of relics in this, and I'm fine with that. But uh, let's see what we have in our first pack here. Now... There's O'Neill Cruz, which is a nice one. I'm noticing that we do not have a hot box right here. There are hot boxes that you can find in hobby cases. The hot boxes will have, uh, basically the, the cards will have kind of like a rainbow um, type feel to them. They'll have, um, be a little bit shiny. And um, these are not those. One in every 12 boxes would be a hot box and uh, it's just the base cards that will be the parallels there's wander franco so we'll take that one wander franco and o'neill cruz is the two best cards so far and here comes the hit how about it we have an autograph right there josiah gray rookie auto and it's framed very nice card right there there's the back of it so already i would say with wander franco o'neill cruz and the autograph that we just did better than five blaster boxes um, in just one stack and we still have three left to go i have noticed that it seems like they are putting in a nice collection of hall of fame relics this year in alan and ginter which is pretty nice always like finding hall of fame memorabilia cards so let's go into this next one and see what we've got going on for heather b on this tuesday team break tuesday is filling right now. I've seen a few payments pop up on my notification bar. So if you'd like to check us out live, we'll be live probably from 9 p.m., a little after 9 p.m. through who knows when, whenever we finish up. And then I will get them all sorted out and shipped out to you hopefully within a week. I just finished up last week's, last Tuesday's breaks. Got the remainder of them all shipped out today. 
All right, so we have one hit so far. There's a Charlie Sheen. We actually pulled a Charlie Sheen autograph out of the preview video for this product, which was pretty awesome. Hey, that looks like what I eat for lunch every day. Meatball hero. I go to Subway every single day for lunch and uh, usually rotate between a meatball hoagie. There's a Cal Rally, by the way. And here's our next hit. It's going to be a future Hall of Famer. He's not a Hall of Famer right now, but he will be. It's a CC Sabathia game use jersey. Not too bad right there. Take it. There's Aaron Judge. Too bad they're not buying back the Aaron Judge base cards from Allen and Ginter. Topps is um, running a promotion where if you have a Aaron Judge or a Paul Goldschmidt base chrome card, or really any of their chrome cards, as long as they are base or base variations like refractors or uh, prism refractors or numbered parallels, they will pay you for those cards. A base card, which honestly, Paul Goldschmidt would be in a quarter box or 10 cent box. Judge, probably a 50 cent card. They'll give you 20 bucks for those. I did a video about that on Saturday. And that offer is going to continue to run until March. So you, you'll have a good four months of looking out for those cards. Pretty cool stuff by Tops. If it goes really well for them and helps them sell a whole bunch of their overstock of Chrome that's just been sitting on the shelves, hey, they might extend that and try that in other releases in the future. All right, so let's see what we have in this next one. There will be one more numbered, actually not numbered. Numbered cards are really, really tough to find in this. Basically, the only time you'll see a numbered card in Allen & Ginter is if it's on a box topper or if it's a one-of-one one glossy. All right, we've got a Greg Maddox mini, not numbered. Getting down towards the end of the box here. Thank you very much for watching, by the way. I hope you hit that subscribe button. We do videos every single day. And sometimes uh, two or three a day. Today we'll have uh, two. I also clipped a uh, clipped a little uh, short and put it up on the channel of um, just a J Rod Auto pull from earlier this week in our auction. And this is this is always a just kind of a I don't even, uh, just a letdown, I guess. Whenever you see somebody like this guy Dubner, I don't even know what that is. Some kind of what kind of material even is that? Stephen Dubner, who's an author, don't know what he wrote, but he's our relic. That's one of the downfalls of Alan and Ginter. But it's, I mean, if that was a dinosaur relic or something crazy like that, we would be going nuts right now. So there you have it, folks. Alan and Ginter, you also have these oversized box loaders, which typically sell for five, ten bucks on eBay. And there also is a chance of finding, and it's a Luis Robert right there, finding a rip card within these we found a couple of those last year they're really cool there's three little tabs you pull them open and find some bonus items however most of the time the bonus items were just uh just mini cards and then the box toppers go from like 300 dollars is what they i think they used to sell for i don't know what they go for now but then they'll drop <laughs> very very quickly if you don't have autographs or wooden one of ones in there or whatever so I'm still going for a hobby boxes, and that's my recommendation. If you'd like to try some Allen and Ginter, say instead of going and buying like a blaster box here, and then next week a blaster box, and another one here and there, just maybe splurge for one hobby box. I think that you will get a better haul that way. That's just my personal opinion. I mean, everyone's different. Some people prefer just grabbing one box whenever it, you know at the. Uh, at Walmart, that's how it used to be when I was a kid. We'd go to the store. It used to be Hills or Ames or Kmart. And uh, for behaving in the store, we were able to pick out a pack of cards. So, I mean, some people like you go to the store, buy a pack of cards, see if you hit something. I, I understand that too. So thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you guys have a great rest of your Tuesday. And check us out live in a little bit for Team Break Tuesday. Good night, everybody.